It is always delicious and probably the restaurant I come to the most. I'm Lisa Chan Carnazza with The Grove Company and I'm here at The Wolf on Piedmont Avenue with Stacy Lewis, one of the bartenders. Hi, Stacy. So nice to see you again. It's so nice to see you too. All right, so you make one of the best margaritas I have ever had. I do appreciate that. Well, show me how you make it. So I start with the tequila to build it. And how long are we pouring here? No. <laughs> this is why it's so you good. Know. So mine's a three count. Okay. A lot of times people, they count much faster than I do, but to me, okay. it's a slow count. We appreciate so the slow a, count. For, for sure. me, it's a three. This is a one. Lime juice, fresh, also okay. one. And just a drizzle of simple syrup. And you want it to stay cold and not get watery. So go ahead and pour it out. Uh-huh. It's garnished with a really simple lime wheel. Okay. That's it. Uh, Tao Lei is the bar manager here at The Wolf, and you, just two weeks ago, this brand new cocktail just hit the menu. Am I right? Hit it hard. Okay, so you created it. Yes. What's it called? Fellini yes. So we're going to start off with about, and you can measure, but I don't really like to measure. No one here seems to measure. Board. They got it in their heads, it's right? It's training. It, yeah, that's training. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be about uh, three quarters of an ounce of guava. Okay. And this is a guava puree. Uh huh. And then we're going to do uh, equal parts of simple syrup and lime juice, also about three quarters of an ounce. So is it sweet? Uh, it is sweet with a tart finish. Okay. And then, sorry, we have the bell of the ball, which is um, our mezcal, uh, mezcal de leyendas, okay. which is unusual for its type of mezcal because it's unsmoked and it's made from green agaves. And we're going to do an ounce and a half of that. So it does not have any smokiness to it as most people associate with mezcal. Right, it's right. very clean, very verdant. Yeah. Then we're going to ice this guy down and give it a nice, vigorous shake. that we shook it with in there. Uh -huh. And then, oh, wow. to finish it, we have, uh, this is the Fellini part. This, this is, is the, Fellini. the part I wasn't sure about, yeah. but I really liked it. So this is the Agramado whip. So it's the Agramado oil, along with heavy cream, and shaken, not, not whipped. Yeah. And then you're gonna top it with a little bit of smoked sea salt. Perfect. Beautiful. Fellini -esque. All right, so Rich Wood is co-owner of The Wolf. Hey, Rich. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you. Good to see you as well. It's been right. forever. I know. We did an interview way back when in 2006, yeah, maybe. I think so. It was a long I time was ago. Brussels sprouts and, yeah. and on live TV. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. <laughs> It. She was like, what are you doing up there, guy? <laughs> I have to ask you about Yang. Oh, yeah. So she co-owns The Wolf with you. Yeah, she and I are partners here. And uh, I met Yang in 2007. She just came back from Hong Kong and was looking for a job, uh, just working in the kitchen. And we hired her at Wood Tavern, and she worked pantry for many years. And suddenly she became executive chef somewhere around like 2012, 2013. So you survived the pandemic? She survived. Are you guys back to normal? Uh, we're probably offering around. 90 percent, um, but it's you know it's been it's been a journey, a lot of a lot of this. Yeah. Uh, but as as of late, it feels like it's really solid. Nothing but growth and good stuff uh, as we as we move forward. Hey, Thank you.